it's being MIA from uh, from top 32 winners. Oh, so he didn't make it even in the top 32? Uh, he may be in losers. I didn't look. Okay. I'm just double checking here. No, Ike Tyson. Okay, so Ike Tyson over Key. That's how he's up here in top 32 winners. Okay, so that is an upset. Uh, XX lost to Alnavas, who then lost to Lord Bahamut. XX lost to Lord Bahamut. No, XX lost to someone else, and they lost to Lord Bahamut. Okay. Uh, aside from that, I think those are the only, like, n big uh, people not currently present in our top 32 winner side. And then uh, I be Bahamut and Ma Master beat Tyrants, and now here we are in winner's quarters. Gotcha. Nice, looking for the get up on the platform here. Picks him up with the up air, 77. Only climbing up even higher. Ike Tyson with the right DI, but he's forced to try to come back on the stage. Great spot dodge, because he knew Master Mar was going to go for another grab option. Drifting back with the Nair. Master knows Mario, kind of a stubby character. He's not going to be able to actually punish those. Yeah. Uh, he's just going to have to show him respect and try and catch Ike in a different spot. And against Mario, Ike's, Ike's spacing has to be on point. Yeah. If he misspaces it, takes a grab, it's going to... Honestly, might just be the end of his stat. I feel like he might have missed input there, but he tried to go for an to fix it up. Yeah, that was kind of a weird interaction from Ike. Not entirely sure of it, but an up smash going to actually do it. catches the jump. And that's yeah. what I was talking about, is he can't punish the nair, but he can punish the jump because he has to land with the nair. He can't do it rising. Mm -hmm. So Master's going to be able to catch him rising. Walks back. I like the patience from Ike, but it's not going to be enough to actually gain an opening right now. Master putting the her onto Ike Tyson. Nice, and he gets the actual frame where he's able to go That's for the jab after him. Yeah. That's it. If, if he has to go low, he's going to get flooded because he can't snap ledge. He yeah. held forward to try and maybe counteract the flood, maybe hold forward and not die to it, but he's too far under the stage. A nail to the back here is going to close it out, but he's still down by a full stop. Nice cross over the back air. Picks him up here with a couple more up airs. Even on the platform with an extension here, another up beam, not gonna finish it off. I do like the fact that Ike does come in with a landing air and then tries to immediately go for an up tilt. Trying to make sure Mario stands a lot of time in the air and on the ground. Good empty hop, trying to mix it up here with either an empty hop to go for a tomahawk grab or an aerial. Yeah, I feel like Ike, Ike Tyson specifically is so good at just mixing up Ike's neutral. Well, you look at Ike and you think, okay, it's not the most uh, frantic character. He's very linear, you know, he's got his jump in there, grip back in there, and things like that. But he's so good at making you think he's doing something, and then he does nothing and actually punishes your overcommitment. That it's just, it's so unique the way he plays that game. Very good. Nice. He was wall spaced there at the ledge, too. I felt that Ike wanted to either go for a f an empty hop once more, but by the time that already happened, Maximer had caught him up with the up smash. The last time, it's really hard to call that tech, but uh, Maximer kind of knows the fact that Ike kind of has to go for a lot of those aerials in his neutral game, and he has to be going for things like Tomahawk Grab, Nair, Finding Fair, and they have to be spaced. So if Maximer catches him on the empty hop or on the landing, it's really good for him too as well. He went for the up smash to make sure it was sealing the deal. And for one opportunity too, he went for the pivot up smash. Despite the fact that pivots are not in this game, but you can still definitely yeah. do the motion. Well, pivoting is still in the game, but not perfect pivots. Sorry. I know what you mean. <laughs> nice, up throw down there. Middle platform extension here, and he keeps Ike all the way to the corner, but Ike he takes the opportunity to shield it with a back throw. I like it, looking for that space back air, and he gets it to immediately with the forward tilt. He's keeping himself out of range there at the ledge, so he can catch Mario on the roll get up, make sure he has his neutral get up, and his jump get up there with the back air. He's got a lot of options there covered, as long as he spaces himself properly at the ledge. He can react to one of the five get up options. Nair, nice, comes in with the forward air. Empty hop though, but Master's been pretty solid on catching him up on those. A 
all the way to the right side of the stage, left side of the stage. Once again, he's keeping that spacing. He wants the back air to punish one of the options. Yeah, and this is what I really, really want is to just keep Master Mario out. I love that he's just dashing back, getting these F tilt, keeping the pressure on. The crouches are so good because he can still react with the jump, or he can go for things like a down tilt or an F tilt. Yeah, and it becomes an opportunity where Ike's sword becomes pretty much a wall for Mario to have to deal with. And Mario does struggle but still against swords. You know, I like that from Master though. He took an F tilt to the shield and they stood there for a second and then forward smash. Maybe would he expected Ike to F or to spot dog, mm -hmm. which is a very common option, so it's a, I think it's a good idea, but he's not gonna do it. He actually just died while charging it. That was kinda funny. Yeah, because Ike's Ike's hand goes behind his body when he goes for the yeah. quick draw, and that moves his hurt box in that position. Also, if I'm not mistaken, if you get caught doing a special move, when you get flooded, you actually move on there. Yeah, you do. Uh, so that definitely played a role in that death, I think. And I didn't want to like let go of Quick Draw because he would have landed on the stage or might have overshot it. Yeah. He wanted to make sure he was going to step the ledge. Exactly. Just It wasn't a good situation to be in. It was likely his stock either way. Mm -hmm. Nice, good parry. I'm trying to go for the punish there. That's one of the things you can do against Ike Nair, especially even if they space it, you can parry and try to react to it. Then it'll force Ike to be conditioned to go for a different option. Nice. I mean, with a cross up there this time, trying to follow up immediately after Ike tries to make sure he's doing all the tricks. I am. The spot dodge up smash is going to be good for Master Mario, but it's not going to kill Ike. Still rather heavy, but the roll gets caught in. Up throw, nice. Oh, scoops his net up. Back throw here coming up from Ike. He's gonna look for an edge guard. No, Ma Astro goes scoops low, but that was a good two frame. He's not able to combo it into the fair at that percent though. Uh, he, he knows he has to jump. If he gets caught doing up, that is the end of the set. And that's the issue is he doesn't. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Once you have, like you said, once you have them flood, pretty much your opponent's into uh, somewhat of a panic option. So they yeah. have to realize, especially for Ike too, already going for quick draw. Well, what I want to point out was Ike in that situation.